Well, Campagnolo have hit boom times, and really this boom can be attributed to their ICAR group set, which is actually making up about 45% of their income related to group sets that they're producing. So it's been a massive success for Campagnolo. And one of the other big advantages that Campagnolo have is their positioning for logistics. So let's roll our intro and let's have a bit of a talk about where Campagnolo has come from and where Campagnolo is aiming to be in the future. Well, Campagnolo have really moved with a strong presence into the gravel bike market. And they've also just released an aluminium wheel that's specifically designed for gravel. And they've had their e-car out for some time now, which people are basically labeling as the best gravel group set on the market. It's a 13 speed and it's a single crank set chain ring on the front. So it's a one by. And this group set has been extremely successful in the Campagnolo group set lineup and it's made up about 45% of their sales. Now the other thing that Campagnolo has really had a massive advantage over some of the other brands is their location of manufacturing. Even though they're Italian company where the office is in Italy, they actually manufacture their stuff in Romania. And even though Romania is not Italy and it's not, as you say, maybe the western part of Europe, it's more the eastern part of Europe, the the transport does not need to rely on ports and boating and they can track a lot of this stuff out of Romania and get it to the Western market a lot easier than a lot of other brands. So their lead time to supplying components has been much shorter. So this has given them another huge advantage. You go, oh, how long to get a Shimano product? How long to get a SRAM product? Campagnolo, oh, we can do that in half the time or whatever that may be. So they've got a huge advantage on being able to deliver the product and get it on the bike for the customer sooner. So this gives Campagnolo a huge springboard to go into the future because they've got more income coming in. They've got a successful group set in a new category in the cycling market and also allows them to develop some of the other group sets which have been lagging. And at the moment, Campagnolo in the electronic group set market has been a little bit unfortunate about the way that they've laid out their products. And the only electronic groups on the moment is the Super Record EPS. It's not available on the Record or the Chorus or any other group sets that they've put out. But in the past, they did offer that and they must have overstretched themselves a little bit because they actually discontinued a number of the group sets and they also removed electronic group set from the Chorus and also the Record group sets. They're only mechanical only. Camp Agnolo has acknowledged this and they're looking at moving more into the electronic group set market and also looking at wireless technology because they see this as the mainstream future in the upper end of group set market which they're in primarily so what it's going to mean is it means that in the future as i've predicted in a previous video we're probably going to see a new group set coming out potentially this year or next year which will be a 13 speed with the new free hub design that they've got on the e-car Maybe not with the 9 and 10 tooth cogs, but it will use that same free hub design and it will be partially wireless or fully wireless and it will be available in the three top tier group sets. So in conclusion, what does this mean for Campagnolo and Campagnolo customers who are, are really love that Italian style group set? It's a little bit different and maybe a little bit more finesse to it than some of the other group sets. Well, it's really good news because it shows that Campagnolo is in a very strong position. They're looking towards the future to develop more technologies into their group sets and offering on more group sets and also expanding their line. And we may even see another group set sit underneath Chorus because they want to compete with the, with the 105 and Altegra group sets offered by Shimano. And they are saying that they're going to continue with the mechanical group sets and the rim brake group sets but they don't believe that's going to be the bulk of their sales moving into the future. Now, I do like the mechanical group sets, but unfortunately some of the bikes or frames that I personally like, i.e. 
Bastion Cycles, and even Envy and some of these other brands do not offer bikes now with a mechanical option. So you have to have electronic grip set. And if you don't want to spend the horrendous sum of money for a super recorder EPS, if it's offered on record and chorus, it makes it more reachable for the average cyclist, although they're still fairly pricey. So that is really good news coming from Cabagnolo. And it'll be interesting to see how quickly they move with these new products coming out on the market. I think that can be done fairly quickly because they've already got the 13 speed developed and they've already got electronic group sets. All they need to do is develop a wireless system that incorporates the connection between the rear end of the bike, like Shimano have done, and the ergo power shifters that are on the front end of the bike. And once that technology or that communication protocol has been developed, they really already have the rear end type of bike already developed because they're already producing a 13 speed group set currently. It just needs to be tweaked somewhat. So guys, what do you think about where Campagnolo is going? Do you think this is really good news? Are you interested in the Italian Campagnolo products? And if you are, leave your comments down below what you think. Are you pretty much a Japanese or American type group set rider? Or do you, would you like to dip your toe into an Italian Campagnolio group set? Would that be a consideration in the future if you're a Shimano or a Sham rider? And anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. And remember to smash, smash, smash that like button and to subscribe down below if you haven't and you're a ninja watcher. So I'll see you next vid and cheers for watching.